cool, cool. All right, so all we're going to do is practice um, counterbalance, okay? We have a huge straight line. Use these parking spaces. No one's going to come out in the parking spaces. Okay. And that's all we're doing. I want you to get in position, mm -hmm. proper body positioning for cornering, okay? So right. remember, right. so go ahead and get on. We'll go ahead and demonstrate a little bit. Uh -huh. We'll go ahead and do all your stuff. Keep the kickstand down. All right, so we're going to get in position. You're gonna have the 360 camera, so I'm gonna make this as wide as I can during the editing process, so you can kind of see your body. Uh -huh. Okay, so go ahead, pretend you're going to go, you're going straight, but you need to get in position. So remember, what's the first rule? What's the first step? Right here. It's the, it's the foot. Yes. So go ahead and put on the not on your toes, but on the ball of your foot. No. There you go. So this foot, that's fine. Okay. So now, what's the next step? Pre-position body. Right here. Okay. Remember the hips. Remember when I was saying this? When I was like, turn your hips like you're gonna go towards it. There you go. So your hip is nice and wide. Go ahead and do it again. Okay, now I want you to look. I want this down. Okay, that's good. Okay, so this hand, go ahead and get your hand a little bit further up there. So look at me. Now remember this one, how you're having a very hard grip on it. Remember doing just like that? And then this one's like the lightsaber, if you have to. There you go. Now one thing that, that they showed me with this leg that might be easier for you so you go ahead and sit up, is that, go ahead and put, I'm gonna move your foot. Like that. So put pressure on here, obviously, but instead of your foot being straight down, kind of like have it in here and push down. Does that make sense? Yeah. So go ahead and try it, get in position again. So foot, body, good. Now, what are you doing with this hand? Remember, we're not, we're going straight, so are you looking that way? No. No, we still need to find the turning point, so that's fine. Now, what do you do with this hand and this arm? This hand, you're pushing. pushing it this way. Okay, so the goal of this is that we need we need to find the balance and center of gravity. Okay, so here's the bike, and here's you right now, right? When you're riding normally, you have you on top of the bike. Right, straight up. Okay, so you guys are pretty much one and the same. So uh -huh. it will stay balanced and go all the way, right? Uh -huh. You can hear me, right? Yeah. Okay. When you want to turn, you need to create a different balance. You need to change up the center of gravity. So this is you leaning off the bike, and then this is the bike trying its best to counterweight you. So now your bike is more upright and has more traction on the tire. So there you go. So what you're going to be doing with that arm is you're going to be trying to push it out, the bike, while you're leaning in. Mm -hmm. And you can do that for both sides. We're going to do a bunch of left hand or left-sided one, so the goal is to obviously go straight while maintaining this, this curve, and that will give you a feel of what your bike can do. So okay. go ahead and start it up. All right, we're working on counterbalancing. We're working on a bunch of different things, but this is during her lunch break. Um, some of you guys are saying, wow, she should be progressing a little bit quicker. Well, guess what? When she gets home, she's a badass mom, okay? So first off, she needs to say hi to her kids. Second off, she's thinking about dinner. She's exhausted from work. And we get 10 minutes of light now in the winter time. So I'm over here during her lunch break and she's gonna practice during her lunch break. That's what you gotta do sometimes. So get over yourself. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to say that. So right now we're working on counterbalancing. So she's gonna try to create a straight line or at least maintain something straight. There you go. So push, push, there you go. No, hold it, just hold it. So I want you to hold it. I know. That's like, it feels uncomfortable. Feels uncomfortable? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what feels uncomfortable? It feels so uncomfortable. Are you, are you popping back up to here because you feel uncomfortable? Yeah. Okay, I thought you were popping up because you're like, oh, I, that's what I have to do. No, I'm popping back up because I'm like, oh, I'm trying to get comfortable again. As in? As in I'm like, I feel unbalanced, like, woo, I'm Okay. So if you feel unbalanced and wobbly because you're going like this and it feels like the bike's turning, uh -huh. that's because you're not counterbalancing it enough. So apply this arm. So like if you're going to go down in position, go into position right now. Go, go ahead. Okay, see now you feel like you're going to fall, right? Grab this arm. No, keep doing it. Get back in there. So get this arm and yank this way. Now lean more. Now lean more that way. Now you're balanced. I'm barely holding you up. I feel like all this is in the way. Okay, so that's where the ergonomics, we can change up. We can probably move this off. We can put bar end mirrors, 
all those things. But mm -hmm. you notice right now it wants to go this way because you have a lot of weight over there, right? Uh -huh. So go get in position. Now, the only way you, I'm holding you up, the only way you can count, go ahead and get back in position. The only way you can counterbalance that is by grabbing this hand mm -hmm. and yanking it. There you okay. go. Okay. I feel like I am just like full of shit. Like I have so much clothes on, <laughs> I can't move. It, that's that's another issue. But let's go ahead, go ahead and go into here, and just turn around. And you could just come in. You don't have to stop. Just come in and try to get back into position. It's all about feeling what you bike and you can do. Okay. So remember, you're grabbing it. Weight on this foot. Mhm. Mm moving over, and when you move over, you're grabbing this hand, and you're pulling it. Okay. You're pulling it that way. Okay, while while you're getting low, okay. So go ahead and turn around. Yes, sir, Bobby. So this is the position that you need to use to set up. Okay, so you're setting up your body before a turn, and we're really practicing the position of getting ready, like she is right here, getting ready before the turn, because this right here is the step before you look, and then you turn. So you have to get in position and understand the counterweight me mechanism before the turn itself. Good job, good job. Pulling. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna go again. Look it. Now it's she's off. getting a little nervous. Now she's a beginner rider, so she's getting pretty nervous. Go ahead, come all the way around. She's uh, she's nervous. She's. She's never had to do something like this. Now, Rain and uh, Amy, she was uh, practicing with us a little while ago. That car better stop. And we had to get over the same fears. But the thing is with Rain, she's been riding for a while, so there's some bad habits to break. And same thing with me. There's a lot of bad habits that I had to break. So she's brand new. This is great. She's a blank slate, so she's doing great. She's doing great. She's doing great. That right there is exactly what I want. That was good. That was good. You see how you held it? Yeah. See, the thing is, if you didn't push on here and you tried to hold it there, you'd be turning. So the reason why, the reason you didn't turn and you were going straight is because you were counterbalancing it with the bike. So you created that center of gravity. Here's the bike and here's you exaggerated. The center of gravity is still here. Now, if you put you here and the bike here, you'd be turning. That one felt better. This one, I finally gave up on the fact that I'm not going to be able to see around this and get lower. Yeah. So, and that's fine. We can, we can, I was having that trouble when I was riding your bike, doing this with my bike. I had my, your my mirrors light are down was there. down here, yeah. so that was never an issue. So that's Like when, we, even when I try to go, whoa, more over here, this is hitting for me at least. Okay. So this, at least, if I were to go right here, well, that's I the can't same thing for both sides. Because right you're eyeballs. turning, you're also turning on the right side sometimes. Yeah. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna get some bar and mirrors. It's for the ergonomic thing, or we can put these up somewhere else. We can figure something else yeah. out. Okay. But for now, that was really good. Let's do that again. Remember, this is the setup before a turn. Right. So if you're this gonna be is just the right, first. What you said, five steps, and there's like eight more steps. There's there's uh, this uh, is ten, the one. There's ten total steps. Uh huh. But we're only doing like one through four right now. One, one through, through four. Five. That's what it was. Eight. So if you're turning right, you would get in position like you're doing right now, mm -hmm. and then you do that extra step where you create the flop and then you turn. So right now, let's just go ahead and practice on what we're doing here. Okay. Getting in position, and that's it. Okay. So go ahead and we'll keep doing that. I loosened my jacket so I can keep my other jacket under. That's fine. And then I have my Under Armour War this. Pants. Oh, that feels good. Loosen that part, yeah. Woo. See how mine's loosened up on the side? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think about that. I just did my elbows, which made a difference. So so the one thing I really want you to walk away from this is knowing why you're staying upright Okay. when you're doing this. Because I'm balancing and pushing down harder on you're this. Pushing, yeah, you're making the bike counterbalance you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. All right. Let's go ahead and do it again. All right, so this last one, she actually kept it the full time, going straight, but her body was off the bike. Here the first go. time, she was uncomfortable, so she's making amazing progress right now. There we go. There you go. Push. There we go. Go ahead.
you keep practicing one side until you get the concept of, oh, okay, I can do this. I can do this by pushing this way and counterbalancing. Now to switch sides, all it is is just literally switching sides. But the idea of putting weight on the inside peg, putting uh, body weight on the outside, or on the inside, and then using your leg to grab on. First position. And letting your arms rest. There we go. Now this is something that I learned in Total Control uh, 1, so I highly recommend you guys taking that class, but if you're a little nervous about what's inside the class, and you're a little scared of what might be going on, I would like to prepare you, and that's what I'm doing here. Also a good stop, that was a good stop. You're doing everything great, everything right. Are you grabbing with the inside right here? I can feel my chest on this. Feel your chest I don't pay on attention this? if I'm so grabbing. I want you to put your right foot, the outside leg, <laughs> put your right foot on the mm -hmm. peg, and I want you to dig your leg into the tank right now. Just dig the leg in the tank. Okay. Okay. So remember, it's, it's literally... I think I am then. Yeah. You're and if you have on. to, scoot up. Scoot up on the seat to where you create that V like right there on the very end or right on the tank. That way you get more whatever you need, okay? So now I want you to do it on the right side. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now that you got the concept of all on the left. Right. Oh, so no, just, just remember, it. it's just switching sides. Okay. You understand the balance and everything. But let's go ahead and work on that, Hold on. okay? Stay and if right you're, there. If you're, okay. So this one. Yep. So I can't Just try it out, like just that. try it out. Yeah, there you go. And then I'm going closer to the grip. Let's go that way. So counterbalance, push, push with this hand like this, mm -hmm. like that, okay? There you go. That looks good right there. But I'm not looking straight, unless my eyeballs are looking at well, you. Well, you can, you can turn your eyes like that to look straight. Okay. It's up to you. Okay. okay? You see how you're, you're, you're just going, but I don't feel you pulling like that. Let I want you see. to pull like that. Whoop. I'm okay. putting pressure on my hand. I'm Let's trying. try it. Let's try it. That's the only way you're going to learn. So you try it. Okay? All right. So I'm put, I'm letting go. You got to okay. put your feet down. Like right. you're going to go. I'm like, put your... Oh, my foot yeah, down? Yeah, put your feet down. Oh. <laughs> it's like, hold the bike. I thought we were going to keep practicing. <laughs> no. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, you can just hold me forever. All right. So we're going to move on to the right side. And it's the same concept. So this is right before a turn you're setting up for the turn you don't ride like this typically at all really you're riding sitting down nice and squared up with the bike this is right before a turn so the next steps are to look through the turn and actually apply counter steering so we're trying to practice the, the balancing we're trying to practice this right now keep going that's good that's good that's good all right see you practice on the <laughs> What was that? That one felt scarier. It felt scarier? I have more throttle on this one. Okay, I saw that you're doing you're doing really good. You're, okay. you're doing the counterbalancing thing. I want you to apply a lot of your, I'm staying on the bike mm -hmm. with your legs okay. and your feet. Right. Your hands up here need to be loose. Okay. Okay, your arms and everything need to be loose. So the only thing that should be applying any pressure at this point up here on the hands is uh -huh. that you're maintaining speed with the throttle, mm -hmm. nice and smooth and then pushing on the outside. Mm -hmm. And I mean like like that. Not push, but like you're you're pulling. pulling it that way. Okay. So like remember the stick that we had in the in the bed or in the living room? It's like you're pushing it like this. Okay? That's it. Okay. So go ahead and do it again. There you go. Uh I'm gonna go try it again. Here. Oh, I wanna try it again. Let's take this off. Okay. There you go. 
There we go. Now I got a camera. <laughs> Wait. Check your mirrors. What? Come on. This is the bad thing about parking lots. All right. So we're still practicing this. We're working on the right side, left side, right side, all that stuff. Um, if we have time during her lunch break, she still has to eat lunch. Um, we can work on the turning aspect of this. See right here, she should be getting in position to turn like she's been doing right now. And then she creates the flop which is where it's the counter steering and everything. So right now, there, she's doing it, she's doing it. I didn't see that until now, she's doing it. Very good. Okay, get away from the curb, please. <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying. I feel like... I feel like this one's wiggly. I feel like this one. I this one's a little wiggly because you totally don't have enough wiggly. counterbalance on this side. So okay. every time you lean over, it's wanting to turn. Yeah. Which is what you're supposed to do. But when you I turn. need to push harder. You need to push harder on this side. What if I have no muscle on my left arm? You need to. <laughs> I know. Okay. It's hard, but that was I want a you to. One. The thing is, I want you to figure out what it is that you could do with your bike. And right now, you're hanging off the bike. That's something huge. Okay, so I'm just, gonna try you're it doing again. Good. That's what he wants me to do. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> she's practicing it on the turns. I didn't tell her to do that but she's understanding the concept. So that right there is exactly what I want you to do is understand the concept. Yeah, we're going straight line, that's the drill, but she's actually applying it. She's doing it above and beyond, going to the next step. She's doing it again right here. That's amazing. So she's getting the idea. She's not just doing what she's told, she's understanding it and that is huge. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, I'm so excited. This is awesome. So she wants to little. Oops. You're doing it on the turn? Mm hmm Good job. All right, now on the turn, we're, this is the next step. Do you want to do it? It looks like you're having fun trying it. I am having fun trying, but when you tell me to do something, that's when it's not fun okay, anymore. Okay, well, are you, are, okay, remember the flop. So before the turn, before the turn, you're, you're just maintaining that straight line, okay? So you have a lot of weight on this arm, right? Mm hmm So on the turn, remember what you're supposed to do? You're apply pressure uh, on the inside I hand and release pressure on the out, on the outside hand mm -hmm. and look through the turn. That's it. That's the only other step you have to do is those two things. Okay. So when you're about to turn, so let's say you turn right here. So I'm right turning here. this way. I need to be pushing. Yeah, you're counter steering and you're going to see this huge drop. Like it's going to it's going to But if I'm but if I'm pushing, I'm this is my throttle hand that's also. Fine. So I'm going to be throttling and pushing. No, no, you don't have to th you don't have to just go crazy. I know. Just but get a lightly. feel for it. You're thinking too much. Okay. You know your bike, so go ahead and try it. But now, instead of just going through the turn and just kind of being in position, because that will let you do it, now just apply a little bit more pressure here and release pressure here. Okay, so we're I making right-hand turns. see if I can do it. Inside, inside grip, inside uh, handle, you apply pressure. Outside handle, you remove pressure. That's all okay. it is. All right? Okay. And if you want, you could just do it between this one in that median, these two medians right here. So just go in a circle in these two medians, okay? Excuse me, okay. All right, so just be extra careful though. We didn't, we didn't sweep any of this up, so. Okay, are you paying attention to the time? Yeah, what time do you need to? Um, 1.10, I need to be back by. Well, do you need to eat? Yeah. Okay. I have stuff, I can eat leftovers at it's my It's 12.40. Okay. 10 more minutes? 
All right. So these two medians, go around these two medians like it's a circle. The big circle. Yeah, and I don't want you to get back to, the, to this position at all. I want you to stay in the right position. You're going, and then to straighten back up, you apply pressure so you're going like that. So you'll figure it out. Go ahead. So now this is the second portion that I didn't think she was going to be able to do today with the amount of time, but she's doing it. Wow. There you go. So then right now she's maintaining that straight position and she's applying right now with the, no, she's a little, a little hesitant. <laughs> Give it some speed. <laughs> Give it some speed. Okay, she's doing a lot of direct steering. We need her to counter steer. So push, she's direct steering. Okay. You're direct steering. Yeah. You're going so slow that you're I having to turn the handlebars. So you need to, remember, counter steer is push, not pull. Mm -hmm. So you need to push on that, okay? I feel like I'm going too slow. You are. Just go a little bit faster. You're going like five miles an hour. I go feel like if I go faster, I'm going to fall. You're not, you're, if you go slower, you'll fall. <laughs> Speed is required for a turn. Between these two? Yeah, you can easily do it. I'm not a professional yet. You're not, you don't have to be professional. Yeah, I do. Okay, fine. She's got to be getting back to her, her work. So this is just a quick little exercise that we did. It's great that I'm able to come out here during her lunch break. So thank you so much patrons for making it possible to where I'm at home editing, I'm at home making these things happen and I'm able to make it happen for her. So thank you, thank you so much. I can't. Doing good. Give it some throttle. I feel like I can't. Shh. Turned way early. I want you to get, I want you to stay on this side. Mm -hmm. And I want you to turn, what the f is this person doing? I don't know, but she's being a dumbass. I want you to turn after the cone. As soon as you pass that cone, turn. Okay. 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 You're you're premature initiating your turns. Mm -hmm. You're starting your turn right here, but if you start your turn right here, look where you're going. So now you're having to slow down and straighten back up to get into there. So you're doing all these different things. You need to make one turn, which is right there. Okay. Okay. All right. Not at all, like I said. <laughs> Go ahead. Stop it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> that is sharp. She's not moving her head. Oh. 
Oh, you want me to stop in front of you? Doing good. We're missing one step. My head turn. Head turn. I noticed it So that about way. right. So remember, the first step is finding your turn point. That mm -hmm. cone is your turn point. This cone is where you start turning your head. That right there, you sure? Did you look at it again? You positive. You didn't just choose a random spot? Nope. Right here. <laughs> You find your turn point, which is the furthest cone. You're riding, you're doing this, you're riding. Right here, you look. And remember the peripheral, the peripheral That's finds that far. cone, oh push. Okay, I guess it goes around. Go faster you need to have speed. Don't be scared of speed, okay? okay. Let's try it again. You're doing right. good, baby. Good, 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 yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. Woo, she looking like a professional now. Nah. Looking like a professional now. Nah. <laughs> yes, yeah, boy. <laughs> One lunch break. All years. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited. She's got the idea. Push, 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 push. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. I'm done. Babe. Woo. Holy crap. Shut it off. I'm no. I can't. No. Uh. Ah, my knees. Oh, oh my gosh, babe. Normally you wouldn't hold that position that long. It's only I for know. a turn. You're holding it for multiple. Babe, you look like a freaking pro. How does that feel? Cool. How does it feel to turn though? Like It feels good that I finally got it compared to last night yeah. when it was pain in the ass because it was cold. Oh, babe, one lunch These break. These helped. They do, but you don't have those on the road. So I, know, I, saw you, I saw you doing it over here though. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so badass. The thing is... When you feel like you have to turn, just give yourself like half a second. Like, I gotta turn, I gotta, nope, 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 nope. Okay, now I can turn. Give yourself a little more, because you, when you normally turn, because your perception of speed is so bad, yeah. as a human, and not yours, but mine too, everyone's no, perception know. of speed is so bad, we're not meant to go this fast. Well, that's what I was saying when you were setting that up. I'm like, is he sure? And I was like, well, when we're on a motorcycle, it's a little faster than what we think. Yes. Babe, you killed it. Okay. You look like um, a freaking pro. You go what eat? I got to practice on is oh. when I'm coming around, I let off the gas a lot. And that's fine. That's the all control. supposed to keep the gas at least a little bit. So then when I'm turning right here, that's when I'm putting more gas. And I'm like, I'm going to eat shit one day. Hmm? No, no. We're, you're it's brand new. This is a new skill. And you just, babe, you're killing it. I am so excited. I am so excited. Holler. All right. So that was it. That's all we're going to do right now. It's better this time during okay, the Okay. I'll come during your lunches. Okay. All right. That was fun. Love Yay. you, baby. Whoop, whoop. It's exciting. <sighs> that was fun. Just layer up like this. Did this or not record? I don't know. If it didn't, oh well. <laughs>